Hey guys, this is the, the new strategy I've been promising and working on with uh, actually two members. They've kind of put their heads together and, and brought me on board actually, so this is what's uh, what come out of that. Um, basically, and you know, I, I want to go through it um, and, and show you the rules and stuff, and what we'll what we'll do is we'll once the chat room gets gets up and running, which hopefully will be late next week, mid to late next week, um, you know, we'll we'll discuss this more, uh, you know, as a group, uh, ways to improve on it. You know, guys can can um, let everybody know, let the room know when there's on uh, different pairs, um, you know, different trades setting up, that that sort of thing. So we'll start with this strategy, and then I'm I'm sure we'll we'll move on to. The other ones, some swing trades, some you know, 15-minute chart trades, that kind of thing. So, this is a, a range chart. This is a three-minute range chart. So, you'll have to set that up. And I've written out the rules. Okay. Rule number one, as usual, is we want price to be moving. Okay. We don't want it, and and it, we can see that uh, pretty easy in the range charts. So. You know, we want to make sure that that there's some real sine wave action. You know, up and down, up and down, uh, before we even consider a trade. And this will take a bit of patience and practice to spot, but it's very, very, very important. We're going to use a 50 EMA and a 110 EMA, and we see that here. So the red is the 50, the blue is the 110. The red's got to be on top of the blue for to go long vice versa for a short. Okay. And price has got to be above the EMAs for a long below for a short. The ideal entry is when price kind of pulls back to the EMAs and then the MACD crosses and that's that's when we can enter. And I'll I'll show you a bunch of examples here. And the last kind of rule is the MACD when they cross it has to be below the zero line for a long and above the zero line for a short. And we'll go through those examples now. So this is today, April 20th, and we had three trades right in a row, which is quite unique, uh, but they happened. So, so what we want to have and make sure is that the the two EMAs, you know, have some distance between them. We don't want them really tight, close together. So that that's happening here, and the ideal is. We've got some movement, we've got some, you know, that sine wave up, down, up, down, we can see that. And we see price pulls back into the 50 and then bounces off the 50 with giving a, and, you know, coinciding with a cross of the MACDs. And this is a two line MACD, and I've included this in the email that I've sent everyone. So, and you can get this in the download section on the blog as well. If you're just uh, if you're not not a member, quote unquote, and haven't signed up for for my mailing list, so so if you don't have this two line MACD, you've got it in your email. Okay, so we've got this cross below the the yellow zero line here. Okay, I've marked that off, and we've got to bounce off the 50, and up we go. Okay, and we put our stop grab this trend line here and we put our stop just below this swing low here and as far as targets that'll vary each guy's gonna be a little different you want 10 pips a trade you want you know one to one risk re uh, risk reward ratio here so if we're if we're getting in at uh, let's say 10 and our stops what's that oh, one let's call it 10 so 10 for 10 Right, so you could get you'd get your your 10 pips there. There's probably about 15 available, but and so that's you know that's that's trade number one we would have taken. And again, another setup um, shortly after that comes down into the 50, bounces off. We get a cross. Like these two things have to happen at the same time. Okay, so we've got a comes into the 50 great then we look to the to the MACD is it below the zero line yes has it crossed yes now we can go long and that's what 26 pips there but again we could get out here at this swing high this previous swing high get 
you know use that as a as an exit. Okay, and then we have a third one here. Same thing. Price, you know, has a nice move up, nice move down, touches the the 50. What happens now? We look at the the MACD. Is it below the zero line? Yes. Is it crossing below the zero line? Yes. Great. Now we can go long, and again carry on. Now, it doesn't always have to be the 50. You know, it can come down and touch the the 110 as well, or anywhere kind of in between. That's why we'd like to see this space between the 50 and the 110, or the red and the blue, quite wide. Okay. In other words, we don't want you know really, we don't want this. Okay, too little, too little space here. We'd rather have it. You know, reasonable space. You know, what's reasonable? Uh, that's I don't know. That's tough to measure. It's kind of an eyeball thing, and uh, you know we'll get we'll get used to that. You know what uh, what makes sense. So that's that was on the euro yen, and here's just the pound dollar. Again, here we have a nice nice move down. You know these are this is kind of a narrow narrow range for the 50 and the 110. You know, you could have taken it; it would have worked great, but I might not have. I might not have been in this one because of that. Okay, uh, this one would be more attractive to me because it's got a nice move down. The 50 and the 110 are spread apart a little bit more, and you know we would have got in. Now, on this one, let's see, we got in here. And our stop would be below this swing low here. That'd be, let's say, eight, nine pips. We just about got stopped out on this candle here, and then it carried on. It went in our favor. And if it did get stopped out, that's fine. I mean, that's that's still that's life. And but we want to keep it, you know, reasonable amount. Um, you know, eight, nine pips below that, below our entry, which would be below this uh, swing low here. So that's a reasonable uh, risk for this trade. Now the MACD, um, the MACD settings, they'll they'll be different, and we've we've kind of messed around with a bunch of settings. Uh, we've tried write these down here. We've tried the four eight eight four eight five. And eight sixteen five. So, uh, which one to use? I don't want to just say take your pick, but um, one will give you a little earlier single. And what we were talking about is maybe stacking, you know, a couple of MACDs and and uh, having an eight six sixteen five and a and a four eight eight. And when they both line up, you know, then uh, then enter. So, but just to give you an idea, those are the those are the settings you can use, and uh, and they all work pretty well. So, give those a whirl. Uh, okay, so what's let's see, that was the pound. Okay, here's a good example of the euro dollar. Now, again, this is four eight five is the MACD on this chart. We see a nice move down here. Now on this one, uh, it doesn't it meets one of the criteria. In that the MACD is below the the signal or the zero line, and then it crosses while it's below it, but we're not touching the 50, or you know in this kind of area between the 50 and the 110. So this this wouldn't be a trade. Now this one, we touch the 50, and we're still waiting for the uh, the MACD to cross below. Keeps coming, keeps coming down, keeps coming down. Still within that range, and it's quite wide, which we which we like, and then it finally does. Cross the zero line, or uh, cross the MACD crosses, and it is below the zero line. So let's say we get in here. We've got there's you know 10 pips there. If we pull back, we can take another 18, or probably another eight. So to this swing, swing high here, if that's what we were after. Okay, so so this is still a valid entry. I just wanted to show you that as an example that you know when this. It, it might break through the 50. It's not always going to bounce off the 50, but um, you know, as long as it stays above the between the 50 and the 110, then we're we're okay. And then again, this this trade here. Here's another nice setup.
so it breaks through still in between nice wide wide area between the red and the blue 50 and the 110 our MACD is below the zero line it crosses while it's below the zero line and then up it goes okay so that's that's pretty much it put this as a three range oops not the number sign three range chart that we've been looking at all these charts that we were looking at were three range charts and uh, just the only thing different was the MACD it was a little different for each one so but you can see they were all they all gave uh, they all gave some winning trades even with the different MACD so it's important to, to recognize though that it's got to be below the the zero line and and then wait for that be patient and wait for you know some some real movement and that movement will also be dictated and, and will spread these two uh, these two moving averages apart as well so that's another way to to know you're you're in some movement so that's I think that's about it guys for this strategy um, I will you know keep an eye on the blog and I'll be emailing you letting you know what's going on with the the chat room as well and thanks for everybody's comments I appreciate them good bad and different all of them I, I do appreciate them and I guess that's it we'll talk to you soon see ya